God's bless everyone, and welcome back to our fifth God of the series, God Hedron. He's known as the Thunder God. He has his titles, archives, and spellings, and what he is God of. Enjoy. Okay, everyone. I hope you saw the uh, flash warning of C. George Trigger that I have on this video. It is basically because of the picture that you see here, the flashing light, so the lightning striking. Um, that's why I did it. Now, Pedrin, his story is that he is basically that of almost a exact copy of that of um, Zeus, but also of Odin in a way, in the same way. As I said before, that they mainly took a lot from the the Greeks in the Norse pantheons, not that to say that they're not unique in the Slavic religion, it's just not followed as much that I know of. Um, anyhow, he is basically that king of the gods, very powerful god, had a lightning bolt in one hand and a battle axe in the other. He is a very powerful war god in the way, too. And since the Slavics heavily, again, believed on the elements, you would constantly see lightning, you know, a lot of times, so they thought of him as, okay, he's mad, or something, and also, so you can see Jupiter in the sky, it. you know, you still can't see Jupiter, and Jupiter is the biggest planet, so basically, that was his planet, so a lot of his aspect is that of, again, off of Zeus. He had a, um, his mother was actually that of the goddess of love. So if you also think about, uh, Ares and Aphrodite, that's the love story there, you know, the opposites. Um, anyhow, this is 
it for him that I have. I hope you enjoy this presentation. And remember, not one person knows it all. God is blessed.